Hello and welcome to your training for your step-by-step -step learning path. We are going to go ahead and go through all the different areas on the step-by-step -step learning path and how it differentiates instructions for each individual student. Now this area does allow for easy setup for each student, also allowing the learning in all subject areas to be differentiated. It also is a great way to reinforce key skills in an organized way. We're also going to go through each learning path and how it is set in a different environmental biome to allow a child to learn and explore while working on their lessons. Also, how it is linked to our pet park, which helps to motivate children to complete their learning lessons and also allows them to buy things for their pets with the tickets that they are earning. Also, how it is linked home to your child's account and how your students can continue to work on the leveled lessons that you as the teacher are placing them on from school. There is also a progress tracker that we will go through and how you can keep track of the lessons being completed and a diploma that is given for each child when they complete an entire level, which helps to provide the child with a sense of accomplishment. Now this section is great to use with kids in a computer lab, center time, with four or five kids at a table, on tablets, who are interacting together and still working on their individual learning needs. Now we are going to go ahead and first show you how to put the students on a level, uh, just in case you have not done so. So you do want to head into your student setting right from your teacher's homepage and go through your student list, placing each one of your students on a level for their step-by-step -step learning path. Your student list will pop up to the side. You can also go ahead and put your classroom page on a level. So if you do want to use that step-by-step -step path level in whole group or small group, you can always go ahead and choose a level there. On, again, you're going to go through every one of your student pages and choose what level is most appropriate for each child, allowing you, again, to differentiate those levels. Now, I do suggest scrolling down on your student setting page and going ahead and taking a few minutes and reading through each one of our levels here. When you move your mouse on top of the sign, it will pop open with that box for you and allow you to read the description for each. As you move on to your leveled um, signs up at the top with the numbers, it'll also show you the curriculum that is included for each level. So again, just take a few minutes, read through each one of these leveled signs. Um, you can see the appropriate age level above it, um, as well as underneath it will show you how many learning activities there are for each level. Once you have found the level that is most appropriate for the student that you're working with, you can go ahead and use your arrows here and move them onto that level. Now our levels do start at toddler time, which represents the uh, two-year-olds, and it does go through level six, which represents the end of kindergarten. Once you find that appropriate level for the first child, go ahead and click Save All Edits down here in your right-hand corner, and then you are ready to move on to the next student in your list, and again, at any time, referring to your diagram down below with your description boxes for each level. As you go back up, choose the level for the next student, and choose Save All Edits, and continue down your list. This is how you will choose an appropriate level for each one of your students in your class. All right, we're gonna head back into our teacher home and let's go into our step-by-step -step path level. Now you can access it from your classroom section. It will be on the interactive whiteboard right here in the center. So I'm gonna click here and we will watch a brief little video here helping us to get to know our learning path a little bit better. Welcome back to the wetlands environment. Click on number one. Welcome to abcmouse.com step-by-step learning path. The step-by-step -step learning path is designed to encourage children to complete activities and lessons in reading, math, social studies, science, 
art, and music that will build a strong foundation for their future education. The Learning Path takes children through many of the different kinds of environments of Earth, like the one you see here. Whenever a child enters their current Learning Path environment, they will see their avatar standing on one of the steps of the path. Each step on the path is a complete lesson with several learning activities. The activities in your current lesson are displayed along the top of the screen. The next activity for you to complete will flash yellow. To get started on your next activity, simply click the flashing image. Then, click on the icon of the activity that shows up. This will take you into that activity. Once that activity has been completed and you have received your tickets, just click on the Continue to Next Activity button to go right back to the lesson path. That activity's icon will now turn into a white star, indicating that it has been completed, and your next activity will blink yellow. Once a child has completed every activity in a lesson, they will receive a special prize, and their avatar will move along the path to their next lesson. Most environments have five lessons, and when a child has completed all of them, they will automatically travel to their next environment with the next set of lessons on their learning path. It's all very easy to navigate once you understand how it works. And if you ever have any questions, you can replay this introduction at any time using the tour link at the top of the page, or click on the support button that is on the bottom of every page to contact our customer service team. Okay, so again, you do have that tour button up there at the right-hand corner, so you can always replay that as a little refresher. But let's go ahead and spend a little time in our step-by-step um, -step path level here. Now, up at the top, you do see your activities. The child can go ahead and click on any activity that they want to start with and go ahead and complete it. And as they do, a white star will appear here on the activity that they've completed. As they travel through and go ahead and continue to complete all the rest of the activities, once they have received all their stars, it will then automatically move them on to the next lesson in their level. It will allow them to keep traveling at their own pace and again complete the activities as they continue. Now what I love about this section is that it does go ahead and take place in different biomes. So as they are traveling through their step-by-step -step path level, they can click on the biome names down below, listen to and learn some facts about each one of the environments that they are traveling through. They also do have the option to go ahead and click on the animals in the environment, and the actual photos will pop up so they can see what it really looks like and again, listen to and learn some facts about each one. Now, as they are completing these facts, they do have the um, option to go ahead and take a little quiz off to the right here. And once they do take that quiz on all the interesting facts that they learned about, they can earn an extra little gift to go along on their site. Now, once they do go ahead and complete their level, they are uh, awarded a diploma for the level. Um, it does go ahead and give them that sense of accomplishment that they've completed a level and they're ready to move on. All right, we're going to go ahead and head back into our home page here, and I do want to bring you into our pet park. Now, our pet park is directly linked to our step-by-step -step path level, and how it works is the children are earning some tickets as they complete activities, and those tickets do help to purchase some food to take care of their pets. Now, you can bathe your pet or give them water for free, so that is definitely something that they should be going through and taking care of. Um, you can see I'm kind of neglecting my pets here. But if they do run out of tickets uh, for purchasing food, they can go ahead and click directly on this Teach button, and this will pull up the next activity on their step-by-step -step learning path. So it does encourage the students to complete those activities as well. Once they do complete it and earn their tickets, they then can go ahead and purchase some more food to feed their pet. All right, let's head back into our home. And from here, I am going to go into one of our student pages. And from there, I do want to show you what the parent and child will see. 
Now because your classroom account is linked home to each one of your students, they will be able to log in from home and access that path level. Now they will go ahead and see the level that you've chosen for them up at the right hand side and also a progress to go along with it. If you do go into your child's home page, they will be able to access that learning path right here from their um, circle in the center where it does say my learning path. Again, showing them their level and progress off to the side. So if they click here, I am going to show you how to enter from that section. There we go, it's loading up and it will bring us right into our path level. Or if they are on their home page or in their classroom page, they can also access it from there. From the classroom section, it will be on that interactive whiteboard that you do see on the center of the page. So they can click directly there and access it from that section as well. So this again does allow each child to continue the work on the leveled lessons that the teacher did place them on in school um, and again continue at home on those as well. Alright, so one more section I do want to show you to go along with our step-by-step -step path level and we are going to log into our teacher homepage for this and it is a progress tracker allowing the teacher to go ahead and see how the student is doing. So I'm going to change users and head into our teacher homepage again. And from here, you do want to go into your progress tracker. Now in your progress tracker, your student list will pop up again off the left hand side. And this is where you can see the levels that you've chosen for each one of your students as you click next to their names. It'll also show you all the activities that they've completed thus far on the site. And then in a second, it will load up the activities for whatever level you chose for their step-by-step -step learning path. And there they are. So just go ahead and scroll down. We have placed um, this student on level five. So level, level five is open for us to see. We can pop into any of our lessons just by clicking on the plus sign. And now we can see the actual activities to go along with each one of those lessons. As the child does complete these activities, the star will turn white. Once they are finished with all of them in the lesson, the lesson one star will turn white. And again, it will automatically move them into the next lesson and keep them traveling along their path. As they do start completing those lessons, you will notice that their stars right next to their level will begin to shade in, and that percentage will change there for you as well. So if you do want to go through and see a nice overview of all the lessons that are in a level, you have the abil ability of scrolling down to do so. Um, you can also see here there are quite a few lessons for each level, so it will take your students some time to complete a level. And again, at any time, you can pop into any of the lessons to see the exact activities for each. All right, we're going to head back into our teacher home, and that does go ahead and conclude our session for today. I do thank you for your time, and again, please feel free to let us know if you have any questions.